On 24th August, we celebrate the feast of the Apostle St. Bartholomew. St. Bartholomew is one of the twelve apostles mentioned sixth in the three gospel lists of Matthew, Mark and Luke and seventh in the list of the Acts of the Apostles. The name Bartholomew means son of Talmai, which was an ancient Hebrew name. Besides being listed as an apostle, he is not otherwise mentioned in the New Testament, at least not under the name Bartholomew. Many ancient writers and Catholic tradition have identified Bartholomew as Nathaniel in the Gospel of John. It was not until about 9th century that Bartholomew began to be linked with Nathaniel, a disciple of Jesus only mentioned in John's Gospel, and it was suggested that they were one and the same person. In the Synoptic Gospels, Philip and Bartholomew are always mentioned together, while Nathaniel is never mentioned. In John's Gospel, on the other hand, Philip and Nathaniel are mentioned together, but the name of Bartholomew does not appear. Many biblical commentators reject this hypothesis. In the Gospel of John, Nathaniel is introduced as a friend of Philip. He is described as initially being skeptical about Jesus as Messiah, with the dismissive comment, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Nevertheless, he accepts Philip's invitation and goes to see Jesus. We are presented with the Apostle's character in this brief and beautiful dialogue with the Lord Jesus, who, on seeing him, says, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is no deceit. A remark which in view of what Nathaniel had just said about Jesus bowls him over. Jesus continues by saying cryptically that before Philip had called him, Jesus had seen Nathaniel under the fig tree. There is speculation among scholars on the exact meaning of the statement, but it causes Nathaniel to address the man from Nazareth as the Son of God and King of Israel. Nathaniel reappears at the end of John's Gospel as one of the seven disciples to whom the risen Jesus appeared at the Sea of Tiberias. After fishing all night unsuccessfully, they saw a man standing on the shore. He instructed them to cast their net again, and the catch was so plentiful, they couldn't haul it in. Invited to cook some of the fish and eat with this mysterious man, they recognized him as Jesus their Lord. There are three Christian traditions regarding Bartholomew's death. One tradition teaches that he was kidnapped, beaten unconscious and thrown into the sea to drown. Another maintains that he was crucified upside down, while a third and the most widely accepted says he was flayed and skinned alive and beheaded in Albanopolis in Armenia. Tradition maintains that Bartholomew's conversion of Polymius, the king of Armenia, to Christianity enraged the king's brother who feared a Roman backlash. The prince, in retaliation, ordered Bartholomew tortured and executed. The Armenian Apostolic Church honors St. Bartholomew along with St. Thaddeus as its patron saints. In art, Bartholomew is most commonly depicted as an elderly man with a beard and curly hair at the time of his martyrdom. Since, according to legends, he was skinned alive and beheaded, he is often depicted holding his flayed skin or the curved flensing knife with which he was skinned. Thus, he is remembered and approved as saint of leather makers. He is also the patron saint of cobblers, butchers, bookbinders, those who struggle with nervousness and any sort of mental issues, and Armenia. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.